Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ben Zeng, and I'm in charge of the retail and uh, uh, supply chain industry. Well, as we all know, the retail is um, usually, generally, uh, when I attend in the session, they will be asking me to sharing about how to make money. Yeah, as we now know, the retail is an industry to making money, money making industry. Well, but this, uh, this time, uh, the sponsor asked me to give him more about the environmental friendly instead of the money making. Uh, so, uh, to this topic, we'll topic future. Yeah, it's uh, feel great to, uh, we had uh, uh, Emily's uh, presentations here. Luckily, today, uh, my sharing contains, to, uh, belongs to the uh, future topics. And uh, actually, it's more business scenario with the logistic and retail, and uh, especially relevance with the e-commerce platform. So I'm not sure whether, as at present, you have uh, the retail and uh, the uh, supply chain business. If not, okay, I could be start my bluffing. Uh, here are some trends and challenges that we were facing, especially when your business is growing up. Uh, imagine how many pestles you'll be delivering every day and uh, uh, how many carbons you'll be uh, consumed. So in this part, uh, no matter during the uh, FMCG uh, industry, the retail industry, and even the food delivery, including the coffees uh, and uh, uh, the takeouts. And when I traveled to MA in Malaysia, I found that there's a lot of uh, uh, similar service as in China, like the Erlama and Meituan, cut crab. You could be called a taxi, and you could be have a place and order of the food, so they got a, a deliveries. So uh, back to their core business, how could they reduce, uh, increase the efficiency for the on-time delivery, and also to reduce the cost and the carbons? This is uh, the green dispatch was mainly focused on. So comparing to uh, the pic whole pictures of my colleagues, uh, no matter it's Bridge Songs or also Gary's picture, I could be focused on more specific areas in uh, the retails and the supply chain. So uh, the solution is called named the Green Dispatch. Actually, it's a disp dispatching empowered by the AI and the ESG. So the first part is goes to the AI. Uh, the easy dispatch could be, in power, uh, could be uh, for the re real-time dispatch and uh, for the ordering, the route uh, planning and uh, reorganized and also use the, some mobile uh, applications to send the, the planning uh, directly in the real-time. And also, we combined with some uh, the uh, ESG solution to monitoring the carbons and the energy cost. So, uh, as we all know, the last de uh, delivery could be very important, especially in the customer experience. Uh, most of the customer satisfaction could be based on the last mile deliveries. So, the trace and tracking visibilization could be requires a, uh, raise a new requirement on this part. And also, for the uh, meaning cost of the companies, no matter if you are uh, retailers, uh, more, or you are the e-commerce platform, or you are running your restaurants or the coffee shop, you could be also taking that into the consideration. And also some like the AI, uh, you may heard a lot of during the uh, submit, we have the general AI and later Haoran could be give you uh, more details about it in the customer service. And I could be share a, a very a tiny uh, a practice in this part uh, later. So let's see what is the easy dispatch going. And it could be uh, yeah, a video. So imagine this one is goes to the car or, or the van or cargoes to deliver your parcels, your foods, your others uh, orders. And the, the green one goes to the final delivery, the receivers. So when imagine this is on, only one line in the, this demo, but if you are a e-commerce platform or your logistics company, it could be the millions of this uh, chest. So how to rebuild them and how to make it more effective and how to reduce the more the carbon consumption, it could be more highly uh, priority for a business 
because it links to the money, it links to the customer service, uh, customer satisfaction, and also uh, linked to the fr uh, environmental friendly. And this is the, uh, some uh, successful cases uh, in uh, SEA regions, and also we could see that they could be, uh, yeah, this is a real business scenario. Uh, they, from the different orders, different uh, uh, last mile deliveries, it could be have some uh, efforts here, uh, benefits here, uh, to opt optimize some uh, operations to in the real time uh, dispatching. To I think uh, my I have I've been spent uh, over a decade in the logistic and uh, delivery service uh, in this industry. One more things from the customer side is quite important is the expectation management. When you could be see the real time of the track and tracing, it could be uh, make their more satisfied and could be uh, prefer your uh, platform and service better. And also this goes to the general AIs in the customer service. Uh, during this part, actually we could be give you more details about it. Uh, sorry, it's not uh, displayed on this slice, but I could give you uh, the logic. We set up the engine box, like the AI engine, uh, and uh, the front side we link to the social medium with the uh, multi-channel, like the WhatsApp, like the uh, Line and Messenger, and the back, uh, the back system we link to your larger program, the CRM and the other man management systems. In and during these sessions, it's not only for the customer service. It's not only for the customer service, but also for the acquisitions. Uh, usually, when we're talking about in the retail uh, industry, we're talking about the funnel models, right? From the acquisition to the retention to the loyalty exception. But imagine that if you have only one chance to make a transition of the new customer with a limitation conversation about perhaps three or four sentences, how could you do that? So this is about the AI engines to could be helped. No matter you're running a more, you're running an e-commerce platform, the AI could be give you the response more like the human, and also give you the more specific details about your reference. We, te we test before, uh, me and, and another colleagues of mine, my co-works, ask the same question. The question is, sorry, I'm, a, ha I'm in a bad mood. Uh, could you any, uh, give me some suggestions of uh, the, the, the gifts, which I, I prefer? We are asking the same question, but the AI engine gave the different response. Why? because the AI engine linked to the CRM system and we got the, some, uh, the tags and the customer profile of different between me and my colleagues. So they could be giving totally different recommendation. So this is some uh, business scenarios, not only in the customer service, but also in uh, the acquisition. After that, you could go to the login, like the uh, financial uh, industry, because financial is quite different with the retail and digital commerce. Financial could be confirmed you first to, to prevent escape of you, but the retail, we could be focused on others first. So the last one is about the easy forecasting, is, is uh, uh, the forecasting of with the uh, AI driven excellent, actually it could be also uh, used in the logistic, in retail, in the food delivery, no matter contains with the orders, in the inventory and in the stock. It could be give you a great help uh, to improve the forecasting accuracy and uh, also the data virtualization could be uh, given clearly for your decision making to <coughs> adjust your uh, strategies. Okay, this is some demos and uh, uh, the, the, the background. So, uh, two uh, tiny stories based on the, uh, read, uh, the logistic and service, but small pictures we are doing in the, uh, no matter B2B2C, in the digital commerce, in the AI, or direct to consumer. So if you have any other uh, questions, please feel free to contact us and I will give you a more dis uh, deep discussion, okay?
So that's my part. Thank you.